Welcome back to another video. Yes, I know I look different because I've got these on, but it's not because I'm doing a science experiment or because I'm that thing out of Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> Is it a bird? Yeah, anyway, not because of those things, but because I've been looking at the screen all day today and my eyes are a little bit hazy. So let's talk about Joby Gorillapods for a bit, shall we? There's mixed opinions about these things, and for good reason, really. Before this one, I actually had the 3K kit, which had all plastic joints. And because it's plastic, it actually snapped, and that's why I upgraded. Now, this is the 3K Pro, so it's got aluminium parts in it as well, so it's a lot better. So it makes the payload higher so that you can hold heavier cameras on here. And I like this, I really do. You can also get the switch pods, but they're not as versatile because they're not flexible like these ones are. But the problem with these is they're really expensive. You're looking at 57 pounds just for the lens. Then if you want a stable ball head, you're looking at 30, 40 quid. So it's over a hundred pounds just for a little mini tripod. But you know I like a bargain. A barjan, I'm sharing this video for you because you, Lanzi, have sent me this, which is basically their version of the Gorilla tripod. It's called an octopus tripod. It actually comes with this ball head. It's pretty cool, actually. You can use it for a camera and you can have it portrait or landscape mode just by doing this. That's pretty cool. But it doubles up as a phone holder. Look at that. So you can put your phone in there and it doesn't stop there. You can also mount your microphone on top of this as well, if that wasn't in the way. There you go, look. So really handy, that is. So if you do a lot of vlogging with your phone as well as your camera, this is a good little tool. But because this ball head is mainly for smaller cameras and phones, I was interested in trying out this ball head that you Lanzi do. So now we've got a sturdier setup. So the tripod legs can hold up to two kilograms in weight, which is perfect for the R6. I've got the R here at the moment because I'm using the six and 15 to 35 mil lens. So that falls under the two kilogram weight capacity. And look at this. I know I'm shaking, I need to go to the gym. But look at that. Hold it right at the end. It's perfect, it's great. The legs have got an aluminium core, so they're nice and bendy, but super strong. They're easier to move around than the Joby. So I really like that. And it's because it's a little bit thinner, so you can hold it, feels a bit more natural to hold. So currently, the legs uh, 19 pounds 99p no 95 so currently the legs are under 20 let me take these off because i feel like it's ruining my jam Whoa, it's boiling Whew. the legs are under 20 pounds which is such good value for money because the joby legs are 57 pounds so well under half the price and i think the equivalent ball head for the joby is like 39 pounds, something like that. So massive saving in money. And I've been using this for a couple of weeks now so I can test it out in a number of different scenarios and it's standing the test of time. <laughs> but basically, it's, I've had no issues with it whatsoever so I'm really chuffed to bits. But there's more. You've also got a little mount here so you can mount either a microphone. And to be fair, that's not a bad place to put it really because if you think about it, when you're vlogging, if your microphone's up there, it's pointing at your head. Whereas here, it's definitely more in line with your speaking place. So, oh, it's that one. I don't know, I think that's probably a good idea. Then you could put a light on top of here if you needed to. But not only that, there's also a little quarter inch thread here for mounting accessories like another arm for a light or something like that, whatever you fancy. So this whole setup, the legs and the ball head, is around the same weight as the Joby Gorilla Pod with the ball head. So you're not adding extra weight to your rig, it's a really good alternative to the Joby Gorilla Pod, in my opinion. Definitely worth checking out for the price. So you've got a little safety catch on the mounting plate. If you don't tighten it fully, for example, and then it slips, it will lock in place there. So that is a handy feature, I like that. And you've also got a fine tuning adjustment lever here with plenty of markings on and you can just swivel it round and get to the perfect setting. I really like that, it's super smooth and then you can tighten that nice and easily. To be fair, 
I feel like they should have had this sort of lever on that side because that's your, that's the one that you tighten the camera with. And it's just a little bit hard to access when your camera's there. And it's a little bit stiff to tighten up. So a lever would have been better to have on that side, I think. Everything seems super rugged and quality. So I've got no problem mounting my camera to this. You know, there's some products that you get that feel a little bit plasticky and cheap but this is not one of those. It feels good. I trust my camera being on top of this. And that's saying something. So yeah, just a short one today. I wanted to share that with you because I feel like it's a really good value for money. And you know, it's one of those things that you don't want to, well, I don't like spending out on because it's, although you use it every day, it just seems so expensive for what it is and does. So something like that for this price, is definitely worth sharing. So let me know what you think to it in the comments below. Maybe you've seen it already. What do you think to the Jobies? Let me know. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Loads of content coming. Look at this. Oh, I think you know what this is. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen that I've got hold of this over Christmas and I'm testing it out. I've done some tests today and it's good but some surprising findings that I'm gonna share. If you've got any questions about this and anything that you want to know about the Canon C70, let me know in the comments below because I'm gonna be basically trying to answer everybody's questions about this. I've got a load of questions, so I'm excited. <laughs> Look at it, it's a beast. Anyway, put this back up. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good week. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more gear reviews, tutorials, behind the scenes and all that sort of stuff and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good week.